In this video, I'm gonna be installing new LED side markers because these ones got wet. So we're gonna waterproof them and install them in this video. So with these LED markers, they came from eBay, but the problem was is anytime they got wet, water would get inside and technically there isn't supposed to be that that gap in there it's supposed to be a full line and that's the same thing for this side right here the other day it wasn't working at all and now you can even see the water inside there and there's the bar there um, these are actually my second pair here on this left this right one um, has a, a blinking flickering one because water again is getting inside so uh, keep that in mind if you do buy these, you can buy more expensive ones, but I think the solution will be uh, just waterproofing these as much as we can so that it works. So it should look like this side. It should have been a, a full LED bar of either red or yellow, but only one of four is working correctly. So I'm going to be replacing those, but I'm going to be putting um, some thread lock as well as potentially electrical tape around the outside housing. So we'll move to that. So with this housing, um, water could potentially be leaking in through here, which I'll use thread lock. Um, but I'm gonna wrap this around the actual electrical um, from the car. And then what I'm gonna do is just in case, it could be the housing, this part where the, the glue uh, connects to the back. Um, I'm gonna try and put electrical tape around it just to at least either have the water run off in a different direction so it doesn't go straight into there and into the housing. So um, yeah, I'll start there. So here we have, um, I'm actually not sure if it's the front or the back, um, but they all need the same treatment. So I'm gonna start by putting the tape on the bottom because water doesn't come up. So you can tell there is some um, text on there, so you can see that you can tell which is the top and which is the bottom. So we're going to start here and get right on the outer edge. Just follow that line, that edge where the seal could be. Just keep going. You'll have to trim a little bit, but you can use a Zacto knife to um, clean that up, but in all reality, you will not be seeing this section of the light, so you could leave it if you wanted to. Let's keep that on the line. one time over and have it overlap just about an inch and then we'll cut that here. So now in theory housing glue is blocked off by this um, electrical tape so it should help prevent any sort of water getting in there. Um, so as you can see on the outer side here and there, I just wrap that around see if that helps. Um, the only way we can tell is if it gets wet but I'll give you an update in the description on how well it's been holding up. So let me do the rest and then I'll get back to you. So replacing this is pretty straightforward. Uh, it's just two screws. So I unscrew those and then get you out. These are so um, tapping, taping. I've always had a problem which way it's called, but self-tapping, so 
uh, we'll be essentially drilling in a new um, spot. So pull off this screw. Sure you place it somewhere so you don't lose them. And then what you have to do is a twist and pull with these older ones. Looks like the fuse right here, so it looks like there's definitely water coming in. Uh, it might be hard to see, but um, hopefully we'll get that working properly. So let's first figure out which one's the yellow one. So what we ended up having to do is tape around the uh, electrical contact point because it was too loose around that area. So we had to make some sort of uh, way to make that fit a little bit better. So now we just need to put it in, have that fit, it's making that noise. Of course, you want to make sure you test everything before you get all finished up because then you'll have to take it apart. The tighter the fit, the better the hold, the less likelihood of it coming loose or falling out. So you want to make sure you don't over thread as well on this part. So just so that it's flush. Let's again double check. And then that's a way to double check because when you're driving, it's going to be doing that. So it is very tight and it's a lot better than what I had before. So I'll do that to the whole thing and then we'll get back to what that looks like. Alright, so hopefully we've waterproofed everything that we can so that it will prolong the life of these. Um, obviously these don't break, break the bank. Um, I believe they're only like 40 bucks for the whole set. So um, if you don't mind changing it every couple of months, then maybe you don't need to waterproof it, but I'd rather not. The hassle is a lot more um, than, you know, taking care of it beforehand. So. Hopefully this helps you install those LED lights and waterproof them. And then I'll give you an update in the description on how they are in a time frame of when I post that. So thanks for watching.